KFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. KFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network 9 a.m. market update on this Monday, the 28th of March. And thank you to Tommy O'Brien for his uh, market kickoff show. Starts off at 9, fabulous show with a lot of fundamentals put together with the technicals. We're looking at the Dow down 83, having achieved that buy signal to buy mode Chapman Wave methodology that takes you to at least a D. We made that leg D at 34,942 on Friday. We've got into that resistance area. We've been talking about 34,940 to 35,050. We'll see how it handles that over the next uh, couple of days. Looking at the S&P, and actually Home Depot is really troubling the Dow right now. It's down again sharply. S&P made a new recovery high to 45, 52.75. It is up 3.76 at 45.46. Um, also in a leg D, accomplished that, helping that weekly, helping that monthly. Wow, we've got to go it's a long way to Thursday at 4 o'clock to be able to wait for that final trading day for the month uh, of March in that candle. We're looking at the QQQ, which showed some strength earlier on. Still showing strength, leg B. Hit 363.19, it's at 361.54, up 221. It's right at a resistance level, just over the 200 period moving average. It's going to act like a magnet for a couple of days, and we'll see how far up it can go. IWM is acting a little bit, uh, um, that was a little bit weak today, down one at 204.99. Uh, we're looking at it stuck in a trading band, and now what we're looking at is gold. Gold is down seventeen dollars in nineteen thirty seven. We've been talking about this for quite a quite a while now that had it has a spectacular move. This is all part of this digestive phase. You're looking at crude oil, exactly the same thing. Fantastic move up to the 130 point well is changed because i think it's 129 now because of the continuous contract and gets smoothed out but the high of the seventh drops very sharply down to uh, the 14th of uh, uh, march and then bounces quite strongly about 50 percent now down nine this is crude oil is down nine this should be helping the market we're looking at the tlt i'll talk about this when we get back because the tlt should be ready for at least a little bit of a bounce you got a good question here what what about the yield curve what happened in 2007 2008 i'll be back with the tiger technicians hour in a moment hope you can stay check out my opening call my daily newsletter free programming here all day hope you can stay tuned